And welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Atro Francis Debang. Today we're going to be taking on food test. Now, food test is otherwise known as all tests for carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Carbohydrate can be divided into two, sugar and non-sugar. Sugar includes monosaccharide, example glucose, fructose, galactose, mannose, etc. And disaccharide, example maltose, sucrose, etc. The fructose, the sugar is divided into reducing sugar. Example, glucose, fructose, maltose, etc. And non reducing sugar. Example, sucrose, disaccharide, etc. Example. In disaccharide, example, we have maltose and sucrose. Can be hydrolyzed with dilute H2SO4 or HCl or boiling to form two monosaccharide units. That is the hydrolysis process. For example, we have uh, sucrose. If you react it with, um, you heat it, you have glucose and fructose. So it breaks down. Equally, non uh, sugar, example, starch and cellulose can be hydrolyzed into many units of monosaccharides. For example, we hydrolyze starch in the presence of heat and dilute HCl to give us many molecules, monomers of glucose. So, we are going to have our test observation and inference for the following uh, branches of the food test. The carbohydrate, the proteins, the fat. And the carbohydrate where we break them down into the monosaccharide and the disaccharide, the reduction and non-reduction sugar and so on. So I have already on the board, so I just have to explain. Then we'll proceed down to deal with uh, for test for protein and test for fats. So for the carbohydrate food test, we have Test for reducing sugar, non-reducing sugar, starch, protein, fats, and oils. So we're going to deal with all of them. But now, presently, we have test for carbohydrates. And the carbohydrate we're dealing with right now, reducing sugar. Example, glucose. Now, what do we do? The first experiment, one, the sample, let's say glucose plus uh, fairly solution plus heat. When you do this, what you get? You get a brick red precipitate will be formed. The PPT is a short form for precipitate because of space. I just have to use PPT. But when you're writing it in tests or exams or in whatever you're dealing with, you use precipitate. You write it in full. Now, like I said, when you have that your glucose in your sample, which you may not know what it is, plus perlene solution, plus heat, you get a brick red precipitate you know that you're dealing with a reducing sugar, which is example glucose. Now, inference, reducing sugar is confirmed because of the observation here, which is Greek red precipitate. Now, two, the sample plus Benedict solution, any example of reducing sugar, be it galactose, be it uh, maltose, no, sorry, uh, mannose, and so on, as example of a reducing sugar, when you add it plus Benedict solution, you get a yellow precipitate will be formed. That yellow precipitate in the inference shows that reducing sugar is also confirmed. So, with Benedict solution, you get um, a yellow precipitate. With Fellet solution, you get a brick red precipitate. When you test this with what? Reducing sugars. B, the non-reducing sugars. We Remember we said we're dealing with the carbohydrate, the reducing sugars, and the non-reducing sugars. So, the non-reducing sugars... We have example sucrose. So now the sample, which could be sucrose inside, plus H2SO4 aqueous, which is dilute H2SO4 plus dilute HCl plus heat plus filling solution. When you do this process, you get a yellow precipitate is formed. non reducing sugar is confirmed. Take note of that. Then we're done with reducing and non reducing sugars. Now the other one is starch. Example of starch, we have yam. We have cassava and so on. So yam, the sample, a little proportion of yam plus iodine solution, you get a blue, uh, a blue black color is observed. So 
uh, iodine give us blue, black, with what? Uh, carbohydrate, which is starch. Example, yam. And when that happens, we say starch is confirmed because starch gives us what? A blue, black. So the second experiment to confirm that it is uh, uh, starch, we have that same sample, let's call it the same yam, plus iodine solution, which would have been blue, black, a bit. Then plus heat, we decide to heat it. Then after heating it, it will allow it to get cool. When it is solved, we see a blue-black coloration disappears. Of course, it forms a blue-black coloration, but when heat has been applied, a blue-black coloration disappears when warm. When we heat it, the blue-black coloration disappears. And when it cools down and reappears on cooling. Now, yeah, we are giving us a blue-black coloration with what? Iodine solution. So when we did that, we get a blue-black color. Then we decide to heat it. When we heat it, the blue-black color disappears. We allow it to cool down. The blue-black uh, blue coloration reappears. That is what a confirmation that it is starch. So we're going to quickly look at test for proteins. Permit me to clean this. Okay, for food test, for proteins, sorry, we have A, the sample of protein, anything maybe A, alright, plus millions reagent plus E. Y PPT appears first, but brick red PPT is formed on warming. So when we put our egg on the millions reagent, we get a Y precipitate form. When we subject it to heat, the Precipitate, the white precipitate becomes brick red on warming. Protein is confirmed. The second one is that same sample, let's call it a fresh egg plus B red uh, reagent. We get a purple coloration is uh, observed. We get a purple word coloration with B red uh, reagent. Protein is confirmed. And the last one, the sample plus Kongish NO3, concentrated translation fiber acid plus heat plus Kong ammonia. We get a white PPT first appears and then turns yellow on boiling. As we are boiling, it turns yellow. And later turns orange in addition of ammonia, concentrated water ammonia solution. Protein is still confirmed. Let's quickly look at uh, test for fats. Okay, now test for fats and oil. A, the sample plus Sudan 3. Any sample of oil? Plus Sudan 3, we get red stains appears. Part of oil confirmed. B, the sample plus pressed in filter paper or plain sheet of paper. So you have your, let's say, um, granite oil pressed in your plain sheet of paper. What happened? Translucent mark is formed on the paper. It becomes translucent. Now, fat or oil confirmed. Now the sample plus osmic acid, fat droplet turns black. Fat or oil confirmed. So this is the test observation and inference for the proteins, carbohydrate, and fat and oil. So we get we have to master it. That's that. Thank you. Thank you.